Um, greeting ladies and gentlemen, I am Rosie from Cambodian Nest and at this moment I am honored and excited to be joined by British Ambassador to Cambodia, Mr. Dominic William and Piri who uh, took over an ambassador role for one day. So what is she doing? Well, um, girls take over uh, women empowerment and uh, women, uh, how we can um, promote uh, women engagement in society uh, will be the topic of our conversation today. So Mr. Ambassador and Piri, thank you very much for um, spending your time and being here with us. And today, uh, Piri is an ambassador and Mr. Dominic William is an assistant, am I correct? <laughs> <laughs> All right. So first question to Piri, um, how do you feel, you know, being an ambassador and taking over the job of Mr. Dominic? So I wonder what responsibility that you have to fulfill as an ambassador. Well, I actually um, was a a lead of the meeting. Like we, we actually had like um, two meetings today. So I um, take this opportunity to take lead in the discussion by uh, greeting and also like um, asking question, asking like full up question and stuff like that, and also like um, uh, thanks them for like hosting those um, meetings. And, that's what I do today. Mm -hmm. Or is it um, difficult for you like, to lead the meeting? Well, I <laughs> think it, it, it's quite new for me. It's not too hard, but I think it's, it, it's like a new experience. So I, I was a little bit nervous at the first time I was here. But then I realized that, OK, it's OK. Um, people are friendly. And I got my um, wonderful assistant who <laughs> always there to support me. So. I think um, it was not too hard. Like I, if if I compare, I have learned, and I think it's everything went very well. All right. So, Mr. Ambassador, as an uh, as, as an assistant, yes. so um, did you interfere with the job or her decision, or you just completely stay out of her work? So girl take over on, on ambassador role. So how do you expect like, this takeover can em empower women in society? Alright, so um, um, uh, Ambassador Thierry, so this whole day, this whole day, like what lessons that have you learned from um, taking this this role? So um, before I answer this question, I would like to um, introduce you some activity that mm -hmm. we did today. The first one is I had a meeting with um, the UNDP um, climate change expert, and another one is a lunch meeting with um, women leaders in Cambodia. So um, I have learned a lot through this um, few activities. Um, the first one, what I have learned is about like leadership skill. Because in this role, it's a big role as an ambassador. It's not, 
it's like it's like a big responsibility and I have learned um I have learned about leadership role that as an ambassador we have to lead the discussion, we have mm. to prepare, um, be ready, be prepared uh, before we um, had a meeting. So it's like that's about leadership role. And another thing is about communication. Because as an ambassador, you work a lot of like work with a lot of people, work a lot of work with like a lot of um, partners. So the the communication skill is very important that you need to work to work with people, like to communicate with people so that your work can go smoothly. And also, um, another thing is about um, uh, um, the, the, the diplomatic relation, because um, British and Buffy, they work with a lot of partners, for example, like UNDP, and also they support like private sectors and also like other organizations. So it requires a good communication skill and also a diplomatic relation as well. So that's what I have observed as a as a British ambassador for one day. And another thing that I have learned is about their cooperatively working environment, which means just like I mentioned earlier, um, they have a lot of partners, so it needs to work like it, it requires a good communication to work with them cooperatively, so that um, because because um, one we're talking about working, we cannot work alone. Like British and Basi cannot work alone. So we need more cooperation. We need more collaboration from other partners as well. So I can clearly see about like um, collaboratively working environment that British and Basi um, work with their partners. And last but not least, I also um, learned few things at the UNDP um, with like when when I met um, climate change expert, where they share about like. The, the survey, the research, um, their commitment, their um, improvement, and especially on um, uh, uh, youth engagement mm -hmm. that they try to like take part in tackle with uh, or combating with climate change. So that's that's what I learned um, from UNDP and also in the the meeting with women leaders, I heard a lot of story, different story from women's leader that. They went through so many challenges. There were so many obstacles, but they still went through it. And they also give me some like recommendation and also inspiration quotes or like words to inspire me to um, try hard, to work hard, so that I can try for my future um, uh, career and also I can be the future leader in the future. And that's what I have learned by being a, a British ambassador for one day. Yeah, so I can clearly see you have learned the li leadership skill, the communication skill, and also um, the diplomatic um, uh, relations with uh, the other, and also with the uh, UNDP, with the climate change, and also the women leadership. So how uh, how can you see like this uh, less less this lesson like shape your perspective as a young girl? Thank you for your question. So uh, after I have learned. Um, these things as um, by being a, a British mm -hmm. ambassador for one day, it actually shaped my perspective. I can see a clear view, a big picture of women as a uh, as a leaders in in our country. Mm -hmm. uh, first, I can see that um, I actually b before being a ambassador for one day, I also see that not many girls or women are the leader or they are in the the leadership position. And after I have met them, they also um, uh, said the same things as what I expected. They said that oh, um, uh, currently even there they are uh, starting to promote more women to become a leader. But we can see the the, the number of our women as a leader is still a few, and they are trying to work more on it. And after I have um, met with those um, women leaders. I believe that uh, women should be contribute and involved in all fields. For example, like as an ambassador, women can also be an ambassador. Mm -hmm. uh, in private sector, women can also be a leader. In organization, they can also be at the top uh, leadership position as well. So I believe that all the sector should include women. And I also strongly believe that they are capable, they are enough to be a leader because they are creative, they are smart, they are strong, they are independent. Women right now can take lead and they should be deserve the world as the as the leader. I mean the world should accept them as a leader like 
uh, the discrimination against women and stuff like that should be eliminated. And that's what it shaped my perspective. And even though um, along the way, I also think that women themselves, they need to work harder to prove the world that they are capable enough. Mm -hmm. Because uh, who is going to have us if we don't, we, we don't have ourselves? So women need to work hard as men so that they can prove the world that, oh, I am capable enough to be a leader even I am a woman. So that's what I think. And also besides women themselves work hard, we also need the support from men with like our excellency today. Mm -hmm. We do need more support because I believe that right now women are facing some um, problem and like like sometimes uh, we, we were told that, oh, you're just a woman. You do not need to pursue higher education because at the end, you will become a mother. You will become a housewife. What is the point to like uh, study hard? Cause that, I believe that those words hurt girls and that prevent women from pursuing higher education and also become a leader. And that is all about my perspective after being an ambassador for one day. Mm -hmm. So it seems like uh, so social norm and also the word like uh, pre can uh, pre uh, prevent uh, women from uh, joining in the work in the society. So as a girl yourself, uh, what do you think like most of the girls hold uh, in their mind? Like some girls, they think that they don't have uh, enough con confidence to do the job or they are not like they don't believe in themselves. So you as a young girl, uh, what are some things or the encouragement that you can give to, to them, to the young girl? To me, I, I used to be um, a low confident person. I used to think that, okay, I'm just a normal girl, a, a girl from a province. Mm -hmm. I am not capable enough to be a leader or be any one role model. But actually, from what I have observed currently, women are actually strong. They are smart, they are independent, and I also observed that women started to like be more active. They started to involve in social activity, for example, volunteer, and they started to like care about the society. So um, they also um, independent, they started mm -hmm. to build up their capacity so that they can take any role, any position as a women to prove that, okay, they are enough to be a leader. And I also think that, I, I personally um, think that they are capable enough to be a leader. However, if we take a look at our side, just like you mentioned, maybe uh, some girls, they do not believe in their their ability. They still think that, oh, I am not capable enough, just like I used to be. But I think it's it's it, it's not wrong to think that way because we was born um, telling that oh, we are not enough. So that, that perspective, that social norm, actually shape our perspective, say, telling us that we cannot do that. But I think as a girl, we, we actually can do it if we at least try to do it. Because mm -hmm. if we don't even try, like we cannot see any impact, we cannot see the result. But if we try and if we fail, it's okay to like stand up and try it again. Or maybe we can actually seek more support so that um, we can make it more better. I think that's that's what I think on um, like that. That's my perspective on um, girls and women right now. And I hope that um, I, like I, I can share my story and I can be someone role model mm -hmm. because right now, um, in uh, go back to my community, I believe that not many girls who are living in the city or moving to the city to pursue higher education because, like most of us, uh, uh, have been told that oh, you should stay home, should not stay, uh, or leave your family and stuff like that. So maybe. After joining this event, I could be someone role model, especially at least my sister, because she is going to like finish her high school soon. So if she see me as a role model, she would choose to like pursue higher education, and I believe that um, those stories would inspire other, other other girls as well. All right, so um, I am great that you can be a role model for someone. So, Mr. Ambassador, to you. How significant is the role of women in a uh, developing society and also like to bridge the gap in a, a male-dominant society?
Okay. So, Mr. Ambassador, like to what extent all the stakeholders, like the, the government, the private sector, that can con contribute, you know, to um, promote the engagement of women in society? Um, uh, especially like young girl, like uh, Piri, to achieve her dream. Yeah, so based on your based on your observation, like uh, the number of women uh, in the government sector or in the private sector is enough or already, or like uh, we have to work more in order to increase the number of women. So, uh, Piri, uh, to you, what do you want to see girl in the future? Like, what do you want to see how they can uh, do like in the future, like your perspective?
so um, it seems like girls and uh, women are still facing cha challenges in today's society. And I am glad that um, the uh, the ambassador like has helped with uh, pr uh, promoting the uh, women engagement. So, Mr. Ambassador, before we conclude uh, the conversation, um, I want you and uh, Piri to share one statement that you think that might um, help inspire girls like to do more to um, achieve their dreams. So, Mr. Ambassador and Piri, can you share one statement that you like? Stand up and take this space. And how about uh, Piri? Yeah. So uh, thank you so much, uh, Perry and Mr. M Ambassador, for spending your time and uh, walk us through the girls' takeover and also how we can help to um, promote uh, women engagement in the um, so society. And I hope to see in the future that girls will be encouraged to um, do more in the uh, society and also to achieve their dream. And I hope that uh, the, the British Embassy like, will help us with this work. Thank you very much, Mr. Ambassador. Thank you. Thank you.